favorites. The actual awards show isn't for another two weeks, but I am proud to announce for the, the first winner of a Customer Choice Award this year, and I'm not gonna tell you what the category is, you have to wait, but the first winner we're gonna let you know about early is Jimmy the Baker, and it, I don't think this award could have happened to a nicer guy. I was actually there with my family watching how these cinnamon rolls are made when he got the phone call, like it was complete serendipity. Jimmy the Baker, Amer hi honey, America's Neighborhood Baker. Thank you. You're welcome, and I'm handing this to you. It even has I'm 2015 gonna, written on it. My, I'm gonna embarrass my kids and start crying any minute Don't now. start well, crying. Look at that. I heard about your son and how he wants to surprise all his friends <laughs> with cinnamon rolls and muffins. He does. Um, he's the nicest Thank kids you. in the world. And I think you deserve every single bit of this because you have not lost the art of scratch baking, which usually people do in their little ovens, in their little kitchens, for their families. You didn't want to make the process faster to try to churn stuff nope. out to America. Nope. So we're gonna let them know at home what they're getting. 12 or 24, and you get these beautiful, individually wrapped cinnamon rolls, and I got to see how the whole process is done. It's so amazing. For every six of them that come home to you, you get a tub of the cream cheese icing. So for the set of 12, you get two tubs. For the set of 24, you get four tubs. So don't say you didn't get enough icing, because I want to have a word with you, because Jimmy gives you more than enough. Your price is $37 for the set of 12. For only $19 more, you're getting the set of 20. Four. So we're doubling your offer for only $19 more. I know that it's a big deal to say that, you know, scratch baking is important, but how does that affect the taste? What is the difference? Why do people notice? Because if you think about the neighborhood bakery that you grew up with, mm -hmm. these guys came in and worked through the night to produce <laughs> very unique tasting things. And they never really had to scale up and commercialize it. And that's what I look to do, is to stay true to the original recipe right. and also the original method. And that's why you're getting what you're looking at right now. Look and that, that is an old fashioned yeast raised sweet dough that you would have found in a bakery 40 or 50 years ago from an artisan baker. And I gotta tell you what this award means to me you know, today I spoke to Barbara in Sacramento. The other mm -hmm. day it was Jeff out in Wisconsin. QVC has made the whole country the neighborhood. And if I could be the neighborhood baker in that neighborhood and get that award, I'm real proud. And you know what? You're no longer a nominee. We just changed your little banner onto the screen. It's official. It's a 2015 <laughs> award winner. Jimmy Tanico, Jimmy the Baker. And you, hey! We got some applause. Hey! For Jimmy. <laughs> hey, you know what else, too? This this is really impressive because this is also the food of the month, and I think we were planning on making this the food of the month before you even won. So here's the deal. It's a Customer Choice Award winner this year, and I'm going to tell you that category in two weeks. You have to tune into the show. It's a live audience show on the 16th. So you've got that under your belt. It's top rated, so you can read those customer top rated reviews. I think there's 64 five star reviews on QVC.com, so you've got that under your belt. You're the food of the month, which is something that, especially going back to school, having chances to just have this around the house, whether it's like a little special treat for you or whatever is going on, people start coming over to the house more. And when someone spends the night, Family is here. You whip these out the next yes. day. And how do we how do we prepare these? By the way. Well, first of all, they come as you see, individually wrapped. Which is that's the great fabulous. News. And they can be frozen. They can be refrigerated. They can be frozen for a couple of months with no problem. Mm -hmm. You're going to take them out of the wrapper. And let's talk about the most important part of this whole process. Mm -hmm. And that is this great baking paper that I found. So baking paper. How, why is that important to maintain the integrity of the taste of this? Because once you work hard on the dough, like we have. If you're gonna dry it out in the oven, it just doesn't do it any good. The paper, as you can see, when you peel it away, makes every cut the center cut. So every that hard layer on the outside starts to come off. You don't get crisp, you don't get all that crispy hard stuff, which some people like, don't get me wrong, but I like the center of the cinnamon bun. Right. Everybody does. And it makes the whole bun like a center. Mm -hmm. And now putting it in the microwave like I just did, let me t pull one out. I iced it before. So as you, you put the, put it in the microwave. Then so, you're going to put it in the microwave. So wait, we don't use the paper in the microwave. Do you we peel it off peel first? Peel the paper off first. Okay. Yes, I'm sorry. That's okay. Peel the paper off first, and I this in this instance I did not peel the paper off the bottom. You can choose to okay. leave it on if it if it keeps it if it keeps it nice, nice and, and neat for you. Okay. But 
You can put the icing on before or after you microwave it, right. but you can see when you put it on before, you kind of get that gooey, <laughs> ooey stuff that everybody <laughs> really likes. <laughs> and the bun, I'm gonna cut it, I don't wanna make a mess because it's really tender. The bun was specially, the, the recipe, I gotta tell you, worked, worked really hard on creating something that would withstand a microwave. Because as many of you know, sometimes if you put bread in a microwave or any type of dough, it, it kind of gets it. all gummy and stuff like yeah. that. And that's what this, this cinnamon roll is meant to go in the microwave for a good 20 or 30 seconds. So I need to ask Frank upstairs, do you, are you gonna put the icing on before or after? He, I'm asking him. He said after. Oh, he's after. after. So he's like you. Yeah. Because, okay, so for me, I wanna put it on before because I want it to melt inside. And so every part is evenly ooey gooey, but you like to put it on after because then the cinnamon roll is warm and right. then you get the cool of the icing and it's like the hot and the cold at the same time. And I suggest, especially in the warmer weather, is as soon as you get the icing, just stick it in the refrigerator and get it nice and cool. Mm -hmm. And you'll, I like to put it on after I've microwaved it and let it melt in. And I like to feel the cool icing melt against the warm, hot bun. You know and what? it is just delicious. I'm even more impressed, especially having been to where Jimmy makes these. I had the chance to go, oh, is it just on Friday? That's right. With my family. Um, I didn't post the picture yet because I'm thinking about writing a blog about it where <laughs> you let my kids ice the, some of them. He took some off the line and the kids got to ice them themselves. Jimmy puts his heart and soul into all of the things that he brings to QVC. He labors over them. He'll send me a note beforehand saying, what do you think about this? <laughs> what do you think about that? And I love the fact that you're so concerned and you want everybody to love it and you want it to come out right. And that's why I think you won the Customer Choice Award I, this and that, year. And that means so much to me because mm -hmm. flavor and taste is, is it's, it's, the thing about neighborhood scratch baking is in the old days when you relied on customers to come back. And I used to love it when customers came back to my retail bakery and they mm -hmm. went right back to the thing that they bought the day before. That's right. when I knew I did my job and right. I did it well. And people are really coming back for these in a big way. Isn't it funny how times change? It like, is. Like it used to be the neighborhood bakery, it was on the corner, everybody went every day and right. they go to the bakery. And times are so different now. Well, but you didn't want to lose, some people never had that opportunity where they lived. Well, I and missed so it. As, as I left the neighborhood bakery and started commercial baking, I mm -hmm. missed that toe-to-toe, -to -toe, eye to eye contact with the customer. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love about QVC. I get calls every day, you Facebook, do. website, people telling me what they like. Also, some people tell me what they don't like. Right. But I have to tell you. But you take it seriously they and you'll my tweak best. it. They've become, I have correspondence with people who love to bake and they, they, they critique my stuff all the time and I love to hear from them. Mm -hmm. And that's what, that's what neighborhood scratch baking is all about yeah. in my opinion. It's like a community. This will, if you just moved into a new neighborhood or someone just came to the neighborhood, you need to make this for that new neighbor and you will have an instant lifelong friend. You get 12 or 24 of them. It's our food of the month. First customer choice award winner that we just announced and it's customer top rated. So all individually wrapped, hey, for every, every six you get a tub of cream cheese icing that you do yourself. So two of them for the 12, four of the tubs for the set of 24 and you can lock that into auto delivery every 60 days for one full year. Treasure that award, my dear. We love you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Don't cry. <laughs> Hold it together, don't cry. Um, <laughs>